Greetings. Good morning. Peace and love to you all. My name is Kimberly Wright. Thanks and welcome for joining. Thanks and jo for joining uh, Hands with Pottery. All right. Today is September the 23rd, 2021. And today is Thursday. So today, you know, we're going to be tightening up on our uh, canvas clay art. Uh, really, I'm pretty much completely finished with the pieces. I could do a couple of more touch-ups and I guess um, I'll be showing those pieces today, but I'll probably be showing them one more time after uh, I complete or put, uh, get them framed. All right, yeah. So don't forget that when I recite the holidays and events every day, or any time in class, it is for your benefit to write down or jot down anything that may spark your attention. If it's something that you might want to use for your future DIYs, projects, or anything like that, your writings, anything in life. If you want to go back and research on, uh, research one of these uh, days just for your own uh, knowledge. All right. So today is Celebrate Bisexuality Day, Energize Day, I-N-N-E-R, inner, like inside your body, Energize Day, International Day of Sign Languages, uh, National Checkers Day, checkers as in the game checkers, National Dogs in Politics Day, um, so that would probably be the dogs that the uh, any of our presidents or politicians have owned. National Great American Pot Pie Day. Believe it or not, I am going to be eating a pot pie for lunch. It's a, a chicken pot pie, but it's plant-based, plant-based chicken pot pie. All right. National Snack Stick Day. Like a snack stick would probably be like a beef jerky. All right, Redhead Appreciation Day. Remember Me Thursday, Restless Legs Awareness Day, and Teal Talk Day. Teal Talk. Teal as in the color teal, T-E-A-L. All right. So tomorrow will be Friday, September 24th, but all day is Thursday, September 23rd, and let's just relish and enjoy every precious moment that we have right now, living in the present, being aware, being awake, and uh, doing something to better ourselves, even if it's just simply doing nothing, just relaxing, if that's what you, relaxation, if that's what you need. All right, so I just wanted to go first into uh, because of gluing time, I guess I just want to show you all a snake that I had made. It's really small. As you can see, this is how it looks. And right now I want to glue some eyes into the sockets. But I think I'm going to use these uh, rhinestones. So I just wanted to see how that would look really quick. It's not easy to hold these things. How do y'all think the gold look? Look okay. I can barely see it. The I know. The only other option I have is green, but the snake is mainly green. You ain't got nothing dark. That's what I mean. I got a green. Only How dark is it? I got a dark blue. Let me let, try let the me blue. See. Okay, let me let you see the green. Okay. I like that. You like Even though the snake is green. Okay, you yeah. like the green better than the orange? Yeah. Okay, and then I'll just let you see the blue really quick. Okay. Uh, 
Oh, I can't make up mine now. I like both of them, blue and green. <laughs> green. Green, green. 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 Yeah, the green did look good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, go with, the, go with the green. Yeah, okay. Okay. Oh, you well, know, snake want to blend in with the vegetarian. Vegetation. <laughs> Big blend. I was going to say with the vegetarian. <laughs> with the vegetation. Yes, ma'am. How about this blue? I had put a smaller blue one on there. Now nah, go with the green. She yeah. right. The green do good. Yeah, yeah, the other one. Mm -hmm. All right. So we're going to be moving right along from there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. So also, so what I do is just squeeze out a little bit of this E6000 on some newspaper. So the newspaper is going to be something I'll be able to throw away. And what I'm going to do is just take a, a, a toothpick, pick up some of the glue, put it right, just the portion a little bit that I need, put it right in the area where the eyes are. And then I'm going to take that green rhinestone. And Is that going to be like a ring holder? Uh, it Would actually you... was like a ring holder. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, you know, you can make different little animals that have uh, like tall necks, like a giraffe. You can do an elephant with the, the trunk up to hold like rings and stuff like that. All right. So this is how it looks from the front. And that's how it looks from the side and stuff. All right. So, you know, you know, that would have been cool if there had been an instant hold. Well, I may, I could put a, I could still put a cone instant in there. Okay. Yeah. I think that'd be cool as an instant burner thing, you know? Yeah. 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 What type of snake that is? I can still put the cone in there though. So uh, I'm just gonna let that dry for a minute. And the next thing I wanted to do was show you the snail that I made. Is that a rattlesnake? What? Vicky <laughs> <laughs> is crazy. Vicky crazy. I'm gonna have the kind of snake you wanted to be. I <laughs> <laughs> no, they don't look like no rattlesnake. <laughs> I mean, they look like a rattlesnake. The tail. What kind of look like a snail? What kind of snake is the snake that um the people charm and they dance up at the best? That's a cobra. That's not a cobra. Cobra. That's not a cobra. But you know, a snake can't wrap his body up on his back like that, Vicky. I, I, uh, I rattle snake. I rattle snake does. He springs up. No, so. he's in a circle on the ground. Yeah, and he springs up at you like from that core. Yeah, that's a rattle snake. Yeah, but on the back of her snail, his roll is on his back. That's what I'm saying. A snake don't roll his skin up on his back like that. No, that's not a. That's a snail, but the other one is not right. a rattle. Like yeah, she said a she said a rattlesnake. I'm like that for real. Not the, not the snail. Not the snail. The <laughs> not the snail. Oh, the other snake. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> for this particular snail right here, I'm going to I put two holes in the head, and I'm going to make uh, some antennas, if you will, or the eyes with this pieces of two wire. And you see, I have two pieces here. And what mm -hmm. I'm going to do is I am going to take just about maybe a couple of seed beads and I don't want to pour all these things out. Y'all know they'll be everywhere. True, that's true. <laughs> so, I'm just trying to get two of the same out, I guess. And I might not even use the seed bead, being that it's so many and they're so mixed up that I don't have time to be looking for all this stuff. However, 
what I'm going to do is just put any color on. So I'm doing red and a green. Yeah, I'm just gonna do red right there and maybe a green. No, blue. All right, that's good enough. And so here, after that, I'm going to take this, uh, this uh, brush and I'm going to wrap the wire around this piece, but I'm keeping it kind of close, but still a little bit separated. And I want to stop maybe like right there and add this top bead, if I can find, doesn't look like, okay. I was gonna say, I don't see a hole on this thing. Yes, I do. It's really small. Possibly, this is like a glass bead I just got out of uh, one of my containers and the holes are so small that I'm gonna have to choose something else because they're, they're actually smaller than that gauge wire that I have. And so there's nothing wrong with going ahead and choose another one. Plus I see some that probably even uh, match with the snail a little bit better. Anyhow, they're actually beautiful. And I would be glad to use those. So I found the bead that I want to use and it's still on this uh, brush turned around and I'm going to go ahead and uh, put that on the hole. So it has like a turquoise and brown iridescent color like it does, uh, like the snail actually does. And so from there, I actually put the bead on the wrong end. So I just turn it around. And you see I have it like twisted with the bead on there. And what I'm going to do is, I don't actually need those beads on the bottom. I'm going to add them on the top. And then what I'm going to do is take a wire, uh, a tool, or a jewelry pincher to turn it. But uh, what I'm gonna do is first is just cut it a little shorter, turn the loop on that so that the beads won't be able to come off. Like so. All right. So now I just want to straighten this up a bit. Can you see how that looks? Mm -hmm. I'm going to go ahead and just quickly uh, put these beads back to keep my area clean because I have more things I want to show you. So let me get all that stuff out of the way. Close that back up. Keep your area clean, young people. Put all these beads back in my bead bag, and I still have the one out. All right, so we're going to go back and do that same thing again. I think I wrapped one, two, three, four, five. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five. All right. Slide it off of the brush, put that same bead on there. Uh, now I need to look for a quick red bead to match the bead that I have on there already, which I found one. And like a bead that kind of shines a little bit like hematite. All right, I'm gonna cut that short just enough to make turn a loop on it. I have my plier, pincher, uh, tool for jewelry. 
making a loop right here on the end, straightening everything up. And I have two antennas that look the same. And what I'm going to do is straighten out the edge here, cut it about the, cut it the shortness that I need, about right there. Cut the same one, this other, the same, the other one, the same size. Lay it beside it just to measure it up, and then I can take that older glue that was on that newspaper and kind of just put it down in the hole of the snail's eyes or antennas. I forget the name of those things. Right. And so what I'm gonna do is just actually stick my antennas down in there. <laughs> that gotta be Miss Ethereum. Hold on one second. Somebody. Let me see who that is. I don't know who that is, but anyway, be mindful of your background noise, young people. All right, so this is how the antennas look, except for this one right here. I want to recut, it's a little bit long. Just a little bit, so I'm gonna put, re-put glue in there. And then put my antenna back down in there. And so I'm just going to leave that 24 hours to uh, let it set and let it dry. So that's how my, one of my snails came out. And remember in class, we made two snails for a demo. This is the other snail. These can sit in a, in a china cabinet, they can just sit on the table for, it could be a paperweight. But that's how they came out. All right, moving along. So one day we made a, a little heart with a locket that was a locket and a key. This is how the heart turned out. I did one side purple with the lighter lavender flower that I did one side red with the pink uh, rose. This is the back of it. This is the keyhole. This is the actual key that I plan on putting like a little string or something on it with something beautiful. And that's how that pretty much sits in there. So. That was just a cool little project. All right. And I had made a dragonfly one day. And I did finish that piece. This is how the dragonfly came out. You can see I glued a few rhinestones on the body. And I have one diamond here in the heart in the star. All right, moving right along. So just want to put all this stuff back. Gotta keep your space clean as you move along. And to get these seed beads up really quick, what I'm gonna do is just get some type of a card, like so, and scrape that stuff up really quick. All 
All right, moving right along. So I'm going to close up these rhinestones so they don't fall in everywhere. They'll be absolutely everywhere. One second. All right. Kim, I went by Dollar Tree and they had some of those little uh, beads and things that you uh, use, the colorful ones in little containers. Okay. For like um, a dollar. I was like, and then they had marked them down to 50 cents. So I got some in different colors blues, greens, yellows, brown. That's wonderful. And I don't know when I'll see you, but I do have those bells. Okay, <laughs> yes. Yes, the bells yes. for you? Yes. Yes. All right. So I'm done cleaning up that area. What I want to do now is show you all the clay pieces. And so far, this is the this is the uh, skeleton piece, but I'm going to show you all again once it gets framed, just to give you an idea of how it looks framed. But this is the particular piece. I like that. That looks great. And yeah. as you can see, I, I do have two three-dimensional petals right here. Beautiful. That is good. Wow. I have a gold tooth with a rhinestone in the tooth. Yes, that's gorgeous. He's going to like that. That is nice. This is where I signed it. I signed it in black first, really small, and then I went over it with gold. So actually, the actual sign, it looks like it's part of the artwork since it's so uh distorted with like an abstract you can't really tell which part of that that's part of what i like so wow okay. that is very very good very wow okay, i'm wondering you're going to open your studio i mean that's gorgeous yes, <laughs> very, very nice studio very been nice. open since i was three years old okay uh, you... <laughs> <laughs> gotta get that in <laughs> all right so this particular piece, I don't feel like I'm completely finished. It's just a few more things I want to do to the trees and the cactus. Definitely the trees and the cactus and maybe the grass a little bit. But however, it's not that much that I have to do. Oh. Wow. Yes. Wow. Very, very nice. Wow. Turn it to the sideways so I can see the silhouette of it. Ah, oh, yes. Beautiful. Yes, it is. Very nice. So I want to do some details, like some creeks on some of these cactus and do finish up some more on those trees. That turned out real pretty. Thanks. Sure so other than that, I'm pretty happy with this clay art. So, you know, you all, I'm really uh, curious and excited to see what you all are creating for your clay canvas pieces, if that's what you were interested in doing. But soon we are going to be going into our uh, making our bust and our hot air balloons. I'm um, just trying to give everybody a chance to get their wig heads. And if I by the time, yesterday. good job. By the time we do get our wig heads, are you saying I'm a lame Miss? Regina, I'm a loser. Why you I never would call you nothing like that. Why are you trying to stir up trouble? <laughs> <laughs> Why you holding up that L like that? Because I want to say, well, can I come and get my pair of pieces for my um canvas thing today? Yes. What time you want to come? Um, right after class. When your class going to end? Soon. <laughs> <laughs> Soon. Just a couple more minutes. <laughs> so, oh Lord, have mercy. This is completed. However, I'm going to show y'all something first of all. Uh, let me find. Yes. All right. This particular piece is finished. However, 
I wanted to make it like interactive. Meaning my frame is not going to have glass on it. It's going to be like an open frame. But however, I thought it would be so cute. This is for my cousin. She uh, collects frogs. Her birthday was yesterday. However, uh, I'll be able to get it to her soon. But however, this particular piece, I'm going to, I'll show you. But anyway, this is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like it. Hey. Yeah. 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 I like it. Yeah. So we are going to tell us what we'll be begging for. Wow. Wow. Yeah, that's nice. That's yeah. nice, Kim. Yeah. She going to like that. She really going to like that. Yeah. That is super beautiful. Yeah. 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 Very nice. All right, so two great out. pieces. What I decided to do with this, I know some of y'all going to be like, no. <laughs> what I decided to do with this piece was I'm going to, I went to the dollar store yesterday. And I'm going to use this snap pan. You know, it's kind of wiggly. And I'm going to actually uh, open it up and stuff. That's what I'm going to do. That's what you're going to do. <laughs> That's what you're doing, ain't it? I hear you. And what did you name that piece? I didn't even know it yet. I'm thinking about it. So y'all see how this thing moves and everything. Uh -huh. What I'm gonna do is glue this a portion of it to the face right here or something, and glue a fly or like a dragonfly to the end to make it be like the tongue. You just gonna use a string part? Well, I'm gonna cut this to look just like a frog's tongue. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm saying, okay. yeah. Okay, well, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Well, when you do it, I know you're going to do it right. I have to really see that. I have to really see that. I'm showing you now. You gotta oh, okay. It's, it's going like, to be something like this. Move your hand. Look at that. I say no, but that's just my vote. I say no. I say no. My vote would be no. But I'm gonna have, but I'm gonna have a, a bug at the end of the uh tongue. Uh, Put the bug out there. Let me see. Put the bug out there. I can use I can use one of these, I can use one of these dragonflies. Yeah. Cut the circle off of it. Oh yeah, okay, okay. okay. But, the, but the end of it is gonna be like a little fork, so I'm gonna leave. So I'm gonna leave it kind of like this. Y'all so silly. Cut the fork off. Cut it off. Cut the circle off. <laughs> yeah, that's circle. But I was gonna leave off. it kind of like a fork tongue. What's a fork tongue? Nah, <laughs> cut it off. <laughs> Yeah, that's a fun. That's a fun. Yes, it's straight. Yes, it's straight. Miss <laughs> Miss Gwendolyn said, "Cut it all the way off." Have to show your yeah. skin final. And put, and, put it, and put it on the tip of it. Yeah, Can you I'm go in there either. looking for that? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Just want to know if that was your plan all along. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> that's what I wanted to look for. Don't do it. You uh, said cut it all the way off, Miss. Cut it all the way off, Miss Gwen. Yes. Is, is the frog mouth open where the like you can see his tongue coming out of his mouth? But yeah. Then the no. end, it has like a it then it has like two pieces like a fork. Take that fork piece and put that against the frog, like it coming out of his mouth before you okay. cut it. Is the way that like, part open? of his tongue, like you were saying. No, it'd be on the other end. That'd be the end that yeah. catch the bugs. No, no, Kim, no. Let me see what I need to move your hand. Oh, no. no, no, no. That be no. the end that catch the bugs. No, cut out the fork piece. <laughs> you probably got to yeah. see it better with the uh, bug on it. I see it. It's on, I just looked on images in Google. 
I think, think he should have just left it, uh, a, a piece of that flat piece on there coming yeah, out his mouth and shit out the tongue. You see it, Miss Taylor? Yeah. I do. Nah, cut, cut, the, <laughs> cut that piece off. <laughs> I didn't realize their tongues were that long. The flour, the tip, or whatever you got, the flour, the butter, the tip. Don't you see how they're so elastic, Miss Terrell, and they fling yeah, back and everything? And they're so long. Mm, I, I, I ain't never seen a frog tongue come out that long, Graham. Yeah, mm. yeah I'm about to pull it up. I just did Google. I mean, it's a whole bunch. Of, they're long. I'm about to scream. Oh, well, that'll it. work, but she still need to cut that little end off. I don't know <laughs> what that is. I don't off. know what that little end yeah, is. Yeah, cut it off. <laughs> cut it off. Hold on now. Hold on now. You had to do dissect them. Yeah. Back in high school. <laughs> Vicky say dissect them. That's oh, just what I'm looking at, Kim. OK, thank you. And look at that oh, one. Oh, look at the end. green one. Okay, but Kim, you still need to cut that little end off on the counter. They just got a little straight tone to just come out. They ain't got no oh, I see that little one on yeah. the side, the blue. Some one, of the them blue. do have a fault. I see that well, you little You shouldn't have cut that circle. You shouldn't have but never the, cut that circle. But the frog oh. mouth is, your frog oh, mouth is oh, open. not open. Your frog yeah, mouth your frog is not open. not open. That's right, your frog mouth not open. It ain't gotta be open. open. Oh, frog, Lord, look at this frog right here. Look at this frog right here. That frog mouth ain't open. Most of them are open, though. You should have that one to that flat piece and shaped it like the tongue coming out of his mouth. Y'all so hard on y'all, teacher. Y'all just try to get it to me hard. Y'all, yeah. yeah, yeah. okay. frog mouth ain't no, open. Like that. No, most of the frog out. mouths are open. Oh, Kim, if that had been one of our pieces, you'd have took and broken in half and made the mouth open. <laughs> 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 Look at story like that. <laughs> 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 you just want to shake the end, of it, the end of it and wrap it around there and glue it. Wrap the tongue around the thing and glue it. Say that again, mm -hmm. Miss uh, Gwen. Wrap mm -hmm. the... Shake the end of his tongue and wrap okay, it look. around the, uh, the item itself. Look right here. Y'all don't see the fork on the end of that tongue. No, I don't like that. <laughs> Take it and shape it. They Take don't like it, Kim. But, like but Mr. Van Dyke is right. All those frogs' mouths are open. They are so right. I don't know. So John, one open. that was closed. Man, hey. Well, he ain't got no bit of licking. Licking through and eating his mouth need to come out and we'll break it open so his mouth will be open. You know that ain't right. <laughs> you know that ain't right, Kim. Check the end of it and wrap it around there a little bit. Cut off the end of I it. Mean, I mean, if, 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 uh -huh. if, 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 if you if you gonna make the tongue uh, make the uh, the tongue it. long, Mr. Van Dyke, Mr. Oh, Van Dyke, his mouth is closed over Look there. Look at this frog yeah. right here. This yeah. frog mouth closed. That is about the only one that's like uh -huh. that. You don't have that many, but ninety nine percent of those frog mouths are open. What I'm saying is that what you can do, <laughs> what what I'm saying, what you can do if you want to keep the tongue, put it a little closer to his 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 lips. That way, you know, you won't too see much of the the long length of the tongue. Because, you know, <laughs> this mouth is not open. All of them are open, though. Don't <laughs> what about this one right here? His mouth closed. Right here? Right here. I see it. I see it. But that's the, but that's the only one. How many you can find? How <laughs> many can you find? Mm -hmm. How many can you find with their mouth closed? Most of them are mouths are open. Well, Kim, you always want us to do stuff the right way. So we say, if you go ahead and put that little tongue on there, well, when we do something, you better not break my piece in half talking about that ain't the way it go. Uh -uh. Yes. No, sir, rebirth. No, sir, you won't have to give us a pass on that, baby. If you put that hey, tongue you, on the left, yeah, yeah, you right. right. Yeah, you right. Yeah, you right. Yeah, you right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, you better right. know I'm right here. Yeah. You can't do that. Miss Gwendolyn, did you say put glue the bug right here and then put it around there like that? No, ma'am. I said cut that piece off, shape the end of that piece, <laughs> make that piece kind of thin oh, on the end, uh -huh. and wrap the bug around it like it's in his tongue. Okay, I understand what you're saying. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> all right, I took all of y'all's expertise. <laughs> but my suggestion was to also before you cut it, you know that flat piece you had, 
You yes, should have put that round him. You could have put that round his lip. Shed that like with a tongue coming out of his out of his lip. Okay. And then cut it out. But it's too late now. You're not ready to cut it. What you mean? Talking about right here? Okay. Let me see that. Let me see that. Yeah. Take that and shave it like a tongue. On the other end, the off the end. Uh huh. Take that and shave it like a tongue. And do that side of it. Yeah, shape that. You take that big piece right there and shape it like a tongue coming out his lip. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Now that might work. That might work. Yeah. Yeah, that okay. might work. That'll look better. That'll look better. Thank you, Mr. Van Dyke. I was getting ready to say <laughs> one thing about y'all. They stick together, Kim. You were outnumbered. <laughs> they gonna get on me anyway. They try. They always try to find some kind of way to get me back from anything I did to them in class. <laughs> you get us. You get us back when we get back together. I know that's real. She'll tap that's peace that's up me. in a minute, baby. That's that's me, me she she gonna said, tap if me you up. tap out work when we get back to class, because if I see something, I'd be like, "What?" I just. Start over. That's what I'm talking about. I heard my feeling made me cry and all that kind of stuff. You tell my dad, you know that don't look like that. You go to no better than that. This same thing. We're, it goes both ways, Kim. We're going both ways. All right. Hey, your famous last word. We love you. Thank you. I love y'all too. We love you. Well, this is the piece that I, Mr. Van Dyke, so silly. Don't be crying too. This is the piece that I did that was abstract with the pool stream. However, yeah. you can see that this line is actually so crisp now. Remember, I told y'all I was going to take a ruler and actually go across that to make it straighter. But since you didn't, you probably can't remember how it looked before, so it really kind of doesn't matter. However, moving right along, the last one that I had for the clay canvas pieces was the seahorse. And this is the actual background for it. Yes. But I just want to show you why I haven't really glued that together today yet. Is because I had two snails that are uh, supposed to sit on the, the surface of the sand or whatever. And I did not finish uh, firing those. So I was just actually going to see where I was going to sit them. And I really thought that this would be a great area for this one. You can see I still have to finish painting that one. I thought that would be cool for that area. So then my seahorse can sit somewhere like right along there. Let me push that back up. And then I thought I'd probably put this other snail somewhere. Right there. Yeah, like over there. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that would be cool. But they'll look better once they get uh, fired and everything. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering, should I push that over just a bit? Yeah. Yeah. That look good. Yeah, that looks good there. That's straight. Mm -hmm. Like that. And so y'all also know that I had like a, I made a few little bubbles. But those are gonna get glued on as well. They're so small, I just put them in a little container where uh, they wouldn't get lost. So I'm actually gonna glue these bubbles on the canvas somewhere around the seahorse's noses. Sorry, somewhere like that. So what color them bubbles? The colors are, they actually white. I didn't paint them white. I just left them the same whiteness of the actual clay. Right. So they kind of came out like a little creamish. But you know, I can, uh -huh. always, I can always go back and put like a white on them with a paint pen to give them like a, the brightness that they need per se. Or uh -huh. another mother pearl. Yes, yes. That would be beautiful. Yeah, the mother pearls were, yes. Yeah. Yeah. And so this is the piece that I did that was the woven bowl. And you know, it's kind of hard to see white on its piece. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, that's that's nice. Beautiful. Right there. That's nice. I really like that. Yeah, that's nice. That's right there. Yeah. So I said I was going to do this piece black and white, but uh, actually, this is the inside, but I really actually like the outside better. 
And I was thinking that if you want to have this functional, you can use this to put something in. However, you can also hang this on the wall. Look at the other side. Well, I love oh, yeah. Too. You can yeah. hang yeah. this on the wall to have it just be something beautiful and decorative on the wall. That would yeah, make a like nice it. fruit bowl. I like the back side too. Yes, I'm going to yeah. leave this entire side white, but these little holes here, I'm going to paint them black. I was thinking about doing this flower center, like a rose color, and doing the inside, the total inside here, black, and then doing the same rose colored flower. It's so you know what? Like, it, you know what? It would look nice. Good. It, it would look good also if we just kind of like leave it white, but at the same time you uh, glaze it, and you have that uh, crystal pearl looking, you know, like the mother that, pearl. You're right. You have the whole okay. thing like that. Okay, that, that would be beautiful would... too. So what do you think about <laughs> black and white and where the white is, I do Mother Pearl. Yeah, yeah. That Mother Pearl, gonna, it, sh it looks good on that clay when it fired. Right, that's what I'm saying. It looks good it's on the, the whole... black too. Yeah, if the whole bowl was like that, it would look very good, very much. Yeah, black and white with the Mother Pearl on it. Okay. Thank y'all so much for that. And thank you so much, Miss Gwen and everybody else, Mr. Van Dyke, for y'all's comments about that tongue. I wanted to show y'all something because I know y'all ain't played with this when y'all was no kids. Y'all <laughs> see if I was to throw this tongue and try to catch a bug off that wall. Watch this. <laughs> it's something wrong with one. you, Kim. <laughs> <laughs> I'm definitely wrong with you. I just ain't figured out what it is. <laughs> well, what might be wrong with me is you. Baby, I still love you, Kim. I'll always love you. I don't care if you is trying to make dumb people think bad about me. I don't, they know me. I've been in class with you. Look at it, y'all. <laughs> 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 you know I ain't thinking about Kimberly Wright. Do you know? You do know that though. You know I ain't thinking about you though. Today I'm Kimberly Wrong. Today I'm Kimberly Wrong. Good sense of humor. Yeah. You, you need a vacation, good. Kim. Laughter is good. I was just Laughter saying good. that to Jamal this morning. Laughter anyway, is good. So, uh, if anybody wants to come and pick up their pieces today, feel free. Thank y'all so much for joining Hadfield Potter. Y'all have had me laughing so hard today, uh, getting on me so hard. Uh, please, if you would like to create or complete your clay pieces, please do so. I'm going to take uh, my pieces, which are 11 by 17, up to the Mableton frame shop to be framed. So I will definitely be able to let you all know how much that costs in case wow. your pieces are the same size. But if not, you'll know about what range. Look at Miss Vicky. You about you know what range to uh act that they'll actually be in if you plan on getting yours. What's what's your name? What's the name of the frame shop again? It's Mableton Frame Shop. It's up there on uh Camerton Road. No Memorial oh. Highway. It's Veterans Memorial. Highway, which is Bankhead, really. We, you know, I go from the facility down Collier Road and then up by Bankhead. Bankhead turns into Veterans Memorial. It's on that street. It's right there, back there behind that service station. Next to that BP, it's behind stop. BP gas station. BP station, yeah, I know it's there. That is you, on. It's called. You, you can look it up online. I'm putting it in the chat with street, street is on. It's on Dodge. Dodging, Dodging Road. Dodging, Dodging Road. Dodging, Dodging Road. Dodging, Dodging. Hey, Kim, my breast, Kim, my breast cancer awareness piece is drying. Will I make it by the yes. 8th? Yes. So, uh, so I'll Mr. bring it up. Yeah. Are you, you going to send me a picture of that breast cancer awareness piece? Are you kidding me? I sent it to you yesterday. You told me, didn't I? I sent it to you. You didn't get it? 
Just kidding. I just playing. Mr. Van Dyke, you gonna send your own? Yes, ma'am. I'm gonna send you two of them. I'm gonna send you the uh I'm gonna send you two of them, the other ones in there. Yes. And, and you said you said you're waiting on yours to drop. Sorry, say what, Mr. Howard? Uh you uh your uh email still the same. You can email it to me or text it to me. Yes, it's Kimberly dot right at Fulton County GA dot gov. Okay. If you yeah. If you want to send it, if you have any other email address of mine, you can send it. If you want to send it to that email address, we will send in the uh, art show stuff too. Uh, I, I even send it to your 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 email on your phone, your text. <laughs> yes, kdwstudios one at gmail.com. If anybody need that information now, I'll type it in the chat. Please yes, let me know. I really need it. Yeah. All right, Miss Diana, you said you're waiting on your pieces to dry. Yeah, you should have it Monday or Tuesday next week, and oh, then I'll perfect. that's great. Then I'll pick it up that same week, I guess, or whenever it's fired and painted, mm -hmm. and get it back to you. Okay. That was so fast, Kim. I can't even get that one. Well, so, okay, at the bottom of your screen, you should see a word right. that says chat. So press what I'm chat. saying. At the bottom of the screen, you're going to see chat. You press chat, it's going to come back up. Okay, 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 okay. Thank you. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> and I was going to say, why are you making monster noises in my class? You smart. Listen. Uh, uh. <laughs> What's in your bucket? What's in your bucket? Miss What's in my bucket? Yeah. Oh, this my drinking cup. This my drinking cup. Oh, it's so big it looks like a bucket. It is a big bucket. It whole ice good. You know they had it on the TV. I ordered it. And it's for the whole stuff hot. And, and I don't care how, how it is. I don't put the ice in it. I carry this big cup upstairs in bed and I can sip out of it every time I have to run to the bathroom all night long, you know, because I'm old. I take that pill. Oh, people like don't oh. run to the bathroom all night. Wait till you take a water pill, then you tell me about that story then, okay? I said, <laughs> yes, I said older people are not the only ones that run to the bathroom through the night. What you doing running to the bathroom? You're young. I, I I I sleep with a, a big tall thing of water beside my bed and drink it through the night. So I, I was just gonna say there. she slept with a big tall. Thing. I do too. I do too. I sorry. did too. I did too. I did too big. I thought she been say she slept with a pot of potty potty next to her bed. Damn! <laughs> <laughs> what did you do to your students? <laughs> 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 it's a shame if somebody can sleep with a porta potty right next to their bed. <laughs> this is why Kim has to tell us to settle down and get the working class. Yeah. <laughs> Laughter is good. We don't have enough things to laugh about, so it's fine. It's great. Did you get the email okay. address, Mr. Van Dyke? Uh, yes, ma'am. I'm getting it together. Thank you much. All right. So I can leave now. Come to your come up there now, Kim. Yes, ma'am. You can leave. Yes, ma'am. You still you got the box that the stuff was in. Yes, I, I, I always write your uh you all's name on your box so I can return your things back to you as you gave it to me. Okay, well, I'm finna get ready to come to that class. I have truly enjoyed y'all. It has been a pleasure. Please, please yeah. man, I love y'all and ain't never y'all keep yeah. yeah. All right. To yeah. so end yeah. off the class right. today. To end off the class today, young people, we having seafood stuffed bell peppers, spaghetti with meat or veggie spaghetti. We're having Caesar salad, garden salad, garlic bread, dinner rolls, assorted desserts, and your uh, beverage that'll quench your thirst. All right. Oh, they have vegetarian spaghetti. I might want to get a vegetarian spaghetti. Vegetarian spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness. I'm a little African, but. You're going to have me crying on this thing again. All right, 
and y'all see Miss Vicky was uh showing y'all the wig head, so get your wig heads. And if by the time we get ready to do that project, if everybody does not have their wig head, we might go straight into the hot air balloon. However, complete your canvas clay art so that we can show and share that and just continue to have fun being creative. My name is Kimberly Wright. Thanks so much for joining Handbuilt Pottery. Have a wonderful, safe, and blessed day. Thank <laughs> you. Bye bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. <laughs>